Okay everyone, for this workout it's a little bit more intense than the other bits and pieces that we've been doing so far. It's an add-on circuit, so it's a, for the fitter participants and uh, you don't need any equipment apart from a bench or a chair or a table, something that's really stable. If you're doing it indoors, make sure that it's not going to be on a, a slippery surface. So do as much as you can when we get to the main workout. It'll be quite fast, quite fast moving, uh, lots of changes in exercises and uh, yeah, just enjoy. Let's start with the warm up. Legs, feet, hip distance apart and we just take our down, self down into a squat, down and up. Not looking at the knees. I hope that you're feeling fit and healthy and you're enjoying getting outside and doing some movement. There we go. And now start to bring the heel towards your backside. That's it. So nice control. You're just leaning forward slightly, pulling your abs in. We're just starting off gently. There we go. And then we start to go into some knee lifts. Little taps, just touching it through, keeping the supporting knee nice and soft. From here, I'm just going to tap out to the side, just opening and closing the hips, again, taking it side to side. Now, if you want to, you can start to bring in some gentle arm movements now. We're gradually trying to raise the heart rate and get the joints moving at the same time. Excellent. Let's go back to our squats. A little bit deeper this time. Again, the weight is on the heels. Pushing up through the legs, coming up nice and tall each time. So it's a deeper squat. You've got it. A couple more of those. Back to our heel to back side. Maybe some bicep curls this time. Start to pull it in and back to our knee lift, touching alternate knee and if you can start to raise it a little bit higher than before, right up to waist height if you can, a little bit of bounce in the movement. Now rather than just tapping to the side, make it a little bit deeper. Make it more of a side squat. Again, the arms can come in. So the deeper the movement, the more the heart rate will come up, which is exactly what we're looking for. So marching on the spot, pumping those arms. And if you can, start to roll the shoulders at the same time as the march. Nice big movements, getting rid of any tension getting ready to move. From here, side to side, loosen up that spine, keep the hips square, that's it. You can reach up as well as you want. And I think that'll do us. We're gonna start our add-on circuit. Now, we're gonna be working for 30 seconds We've got 15 seconds to get into position for the next exercise. You'll see how it works as we go along, but every time we add a new exercise, we start again from the beginning. If you need to take breaks, you can just stop the filming, have a little bit of a drink if you wish, and then join in again as soon as you're ready. Let's go. Oh, I've got to turn the timer on, haven't I? So we've got 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off, or 15 seconds off, and the first exercise is our squat. So we're always gonna come back to the squat, nice and easy, pushing that butt back, range of movement to suit you. There we go. You'll hear the little ding in a minute. That gives us 15 seconds to prepare ourselves for the next exercise, which I'll introduce when we get there. Get it done. That's the ding. So the next exercise you're going to do will be either a forward lunge or a backward lunge. You decide what you like to do, depends on your knees. We start in three seconds time. Are you ready? That's the dinner. Let's lunge. So I'm going to do 
forward lunges this time but I can mix it up I can change it I don't have to do the same thing every single time make sure your chest stays tall and keep the knee above the ankle as you go forward Good, so we stop there, 15 seconds break. That takes us back to our original squat. So you can make them deeper than before, you can uh, make them shallower than before, depending on how you feel. Let's go back to the squat. That's it. If you do want to make it harder, you can't really see my feet. However, what you can do is you can start to raise up onto the balls of the feet. So that brings in more of the calf. So you're doing calf raises as well at the same time. Oh, that sun is gorgeous. Oh, it's chilly when I first came out. Now I'm very warm. 15 seconds break, then back into the lunges. This time I'm going to do backwards, but you can decide which ones you prefer, as I said before. So, time is about to start. Let's lunge. So when you're doing a backward lunge, you end up in exactly the same position as the forward lunge. The only difference being is you're not shifting your body weight forward, which I know some people don't like. It sometimes feels nicer on the knees. There we go, nearly done with this one. We've got a 15 second break. And I'm gonna introduce you to the next exercise, which will be the press up. If you're strong, do it on the floor. If not, find a platform. Make sure your chest goes all the way down to the front. Okay, ready? Let's go, 30 seconds. If this is too tricky, you can bring the legs in and have a shorter lever. So this will also work. Side. Avoid looking at the elbows. Waiting for that dinger. There it is, that's the dinger. So 15 second break, that takes us back to the squats. So, are you ready? Go. That's it. So back to the squat. Knees above the ankle. Abs are nice and tight. So hopefully you're beginning to feel like you're doing something. Again, if you want to bring in that extra calf raise, if you're feeling strong today, go for it. You know what's next. We have a 15 second break. And then we'll be doing our lunges. So the lunges, we've done forwards, we've done back. You can stick to whatever you like now. I'm gonna go back to forwards. I'm gonna live dangerously. Right. Let's go. Give yourself a nice firm base when you come back so you don't have to worry about your balance too much says I, falling over. <laughs> Here we go. Down and up. With control. Pushing through the heel. So press back. Press up time. This is the hardest one, isn't it? 15 seconds of press ups. I'm not going to get into position until I really have to on this one. Here we go, 30 seconds. Remember, your neck is part of your spine. Try to keep it in line, but avoid dropping your head down as you do this exercise. <sighs> Must be nearly done. Yeah, good stuff. 
So our next exercise, we've got hamstring curls. So like we were doing in the warm up, it's going to be heel to butt, can add a little bit of a bounce to it if you so desire. Okay. Here we go, so just heel to back side, taking it up, using your arms, pulling through. This is more of a cardiovascular exercise. Getting all of those muscles working, getting the heart rate up. Now you'll see there's a little bit of a dip as I go side to side, rather than just keeping it all on one level. If you want to be effective, dip down and up. Okay, 15 seconds rest. And then we go back to the very top, to our first exercise. I'm sure you've got the idea now. I don't need to tell you anymore. I could actually go and have a cup of tea and you could keep going, really. Squat, down, up. With the calf raise, if you're doing the calf raise, think about your big toe. Try to focus on that, and that will stop your ankles rolling out. You want them to stay nice and firm. Two seconds. We're on our lunge in 15 seconds time moment to grab a drink if you want to. You've got time. See I keep moving, shuffling around because I don't want my heart rate to drop back down again. So, lunge through, back to the forward lunge for me, but remember you can do it as a backward lunge. Can you hear my dog barking in the background? <laughs> so let me out in the garden. <laughs> I would, but I keep tripping over her. I've tried it. <laughs> so not too many more of these. Into the press up, everybody's favorite exercise. Coming in now. Get yourself into position. Remember, if you don't want to do it with the long lever, you can do it with the short lever. I'll do that this time. So you'll notice that my whole body is moving through my elbows. So although my legs are bent, the weight is still going forward onto the arms. So you should be feeling it in the back of the arms now. Okay. So that's the press-ups done. After the press-ups, we had our hamstring curls, heel to backside. Oh. Okay, time is on. Here we go. As I said before, if you want to put a bit more into this, make it a little more, more like a hopscotch exercise, then feel free to do so. So it's with or without a hop. If you're not hopping, really concentrate on that downward movement to help get the heart rate up. Okay, this next exercise, we're back to the arms again, back to the back to the arms. We're on tricep dips. So if you're using a chair, make sure it's stable, make sure it's not going to slip around. Here we go. Now with the dips, make sure your back is nice and close to whatever it is that you're using. Your elbows are going straight back. You're not looking out. And you're keeping your chin lifted. This is hard work. Okay, so. After the tricep dips, we've now got another cardiovascular exercise. We've got jack jumps. I'll start off with half stars, or half jacks. They look like this, and the full look like this. Make sure your heels go down. You'll notice that my knees turn out. So in other words, I'm not locking my knees towards one another 
they're in an outward position. So say, if you prefer halves, then that works too. There we go. A couple more of these to finish. So, we're back to the beginning. Back to the squats. Hopefully your heart rate's up, you're feeling warm, but you are enjoying the movement. Okay. Remember, you're not on your own with this. We're all in it together. You can always post when you've done it. You can tell us how you felt, whether it made you feel good, whether it made you feel tired, whether you were glad it was over. <laughs> Whatever you want to share, it would be lovely to hear from you. Let's chat as well as work out together. Down up. Excellent. Lunges are next. I think I'll do the backward lunge this time. Just to mix it up. Righty. It's the spice, so they say. There we go. So when we're doing these backward ones, make sure it's only the toe that goes down into the floor, but not the heel. This will allow you to bend both knees, the front and the back. There we go. All right, everybody's favorite. We're back to the press ups. I will go back to the longer lever this time, but you decide which one suits you, what one you'd like to do best. Make sure you pull your tummies in nice and tight because you don't want your back to be bowing when we're doing this exercise. Keep your neck nice and long. And although you're straightening your arms, they're not going really, really tight at the top. That's it, that'll do us. Our next exercise was the hamstring curl. So, are you ready for this? hamstring curls. So with or without the hop, side to side. Yesterday I had helicopters going over, today I have planes going over. <laughs> so you know I really am at home. It really is real time. <laughs> Tricep dips coming in next. So again, make sure your spine's gonna be nice and close. Whatever you're sitting on is stable. If you really don't like tricep dips, you can always go back to the press-ups. So you could do a second set of press-ups if you don't like this. I know not everybody does because you can start to feel it on the wrist. Just make sure your fingertips are facing forwards and not backwards. The next one we have our half stars or our jacks. Are you ready? So, halves or fulls, just make sure you remember to think about your technique. On the fulls, the heels are down and the knees are turned out. And on the halves, it's just the toe tapping out to the side and you don't need to force your heel down. Do all of one or mix them up a little bit. Okay, this next one is for our abdominals. You're going to sit on your chair or on your bench, lean back slightly, 
bring your knee down, turn it leg in, or both together. So you're just pulling up, taking care that you're not overarching your spine. In fact, what you're trying to do is to curl it. So you're rounding over at the top of the movement through the spine, but not by literally dropping the head forward. Control the movement down. Okay, from the top again. Back to our squats. We're nearly done, you know. Not too much more. Hopefully you feel that you have done something today. Here we go. I'm gonna go straight in to the heel raises this time. If you're beginning to feel tired, keep the heels down. Maybe do less of a range of movement. If you're feeling you're not doing enough, start to bring more movement into it. That's okay. The workout needs to work for you. That's the key thing. Into our lunges. It looks like a summer stage, doesn't it? It's actually a chilly wind, but I'm grateful for it today. Lunge. So I've gone back to the forwards. Hopefully you know by now. You know what you like best. Maybe you're mixing it up like I am. Again, if you're tired, make it a little bit shallower. If it's not enough, a little bit deeper. Push through more. Okay, from here, we're back to our press-ups. Short or long lever, your body length. Always your choice. Can mix and match again if you like. And the same thing applies here. If you don't like these but prefer the dips, you could do another set of tricep dips here if you like. Beginning to feel it now, I hope you are. Okay, so from the press ups, Is there else I can help with? that's my phone going off asking me if it can help me. That's Siri, very kind of Siri. <laughs> okay, from there, that's put me off. From the press ups, we had hamstring curls. Just got that in quickly enough. Not sure I Siri's saying, I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> So side to side, with or without the hop. So it looks like hopscotch. Slightly forward as you go. Into our tricep dips. So wait for the ding dong. Know this now. There are only a couple more exercises to add now. We're nearly done. Not knocking out. Getting those arms nicely bent. Not just shifting the bodies forwards and backwards. So bending and a straightening. All right, half stars or full jacks next. It's coming. Halves or fulls. just feels so good to be getting the heart rate up. I'm enjoying it. I hope you are too. Ok, 
going for it all the way this time. Yes. Okay, we're now on to our curl ups. Remember, if it's too much to do both together, think about one at a time. That works. So let me start with that for you. So still getting that curling motion, controlling it. Alternatively, both together, just dipping the toes to the floor between each one. Yes. Okay. Well done, everybody. Now we've got one more exercise to go. This is the last one we're going to do. And I'm going to get you to find two spots, but probably two big side steps apart. I've got some lines on my flooring. So I'm going to shuffle from one side to the other. Nice and light on the feet and push off. Once you've got the movement, see if you can speed it up. This is the very last exercise. We go all the way from the top. One more time through. And then we pull down. Okay, good work. So this is your last set. Make it the best one yet. Give it everything that you've got. Because we're going to stretch after this. So here we go, squat with a reach onto the balls of the feet. If you've had enough, Forget reaching up. If you've had enough and you don't want to come up onto the balls of the feet, then just make it the squat. You decide. But the idea is to give it everything you've got for this last run through. Lunges. The worst thing that could happen today is if you finish this session, you think, oh, I could have given it just a little bit more. Make sure that when you finish, you go, yes, I did it. I gave it everything. Lunges. Because I'm sure everybody else is. We're in it together. Give me the arms if you want to. Plow it through. I feel like six off Steve Austin. Six million dollar man. Again, I'm showing my age. <laughs> Push away. Your best ever set of press ups. So if you've been doing the easy ones all the way through, why not try a couple of the harder ones and then go into the easier version after that? Press ups. Don't rush them. Think about your form. Get in that chest as low as you can. Making sure the elbows are really bending at the bottom of the movement. Yes, done it. Hamstring curls coming in next. Hopscotch. Somebody's now working out in their garden. They've got their power tool going or something. I hope you can still hear me okay. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Everybody's out there. I'm probably driving people mental, shouting at my iPad in the garden fact we said oh no she's at it again but with luck they're joining in that would make me very very happy all right tricep dips I'm ready so you are yep let's go we're in it together this is our home run, everyone. A 
I'm feeling good. Down up. Not looking out. Looking forward. Take it through. Excellent. From the dips, we went into our half stars or full jacks. I'm going to go for the full ones again. You must decide what you want to do. Now you can do this exercise session as many times as you want. So if you've had to stop a few times or you've started to use the easier versions, that's okay. Do it a few times and then see how you progress. Try a little bit harder each time you do it. That's the way. That's the key. Okay, from the jacks, it's our curl up exercises. Remember the idea is to curl through the spine. Not sitting upright, you're actually sitting as if you've got bad posture. So you're really working those abdominals as well as the hips. Bit of both with this one. Now you've got one more exercise after this. This is our side to side shuffle. Then I'll turn the timer off, we'll cool down a bit and we'll have a nice stretch to finish. So, I'm gonna start over here. Time is starting now. So remember, you're going as fast as you can, side to side, knees are bent. We don't do enough lateral movement in our lives. So it's good to work the hips in this way. Oh yeah, seven seconds left. Yes, grab a drink of water. I'll turn the timer off. Doesn't want to turn off. Right, so what I want you to do is just march it out on the spot. Your heart rate is probably still up. So let's just start to cool it down nice and gently. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, just little half stars, not as deep as before, just tapping through really. That's the way. Touch the knee, but lower than before. Just twisting gently from the waist, nice and light. And then into a half squat. Not too much. That's the way. Let's go through that again. So just walking on the spot. Work through the ankles. Stand up tall. I'm losing my tops. There we go. <laughs> half stars. So it literally is just a little tap to the side. If you want to put your hands on your hips again, or to your waist, that's fine. Rather than knee lift, just tap, or turn the foot forward. Just pointing the toe. And then a little mini squat. As you're doing your mini squat this time, just roll your shoulders through. And the other way. Good stuff. Keep your feet moving. Take your hands to the lower part of your back or the top of your backside and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pull your tummy in. Keep your chin level. We're just stretching out the chest. Well done. Just step side to side. Take one arm, hold either above or below the elbow and just gently 
put it across, stretching out the back of the shoulder. Do the same thing on the other side, above the elbow or below the elbow. Your choice. Just keeping the feet moving as we do it, still cooling down. Lovely. Just tap the toes, one arm up, press in front and give yourself a tricep stretch. If you feel comfortable, take the hand over the top, just hold it there, reach up, and then do the same thing on the other side. Remember, you can have the hand in the front if it suits you better. Lovely. Take the legs wide, one hand on your thigh, reach up nice and tall, and then over you go, big stretch. Keep looking forward or up towards your hand. You decide. Bring it down. Hand on the hip. Over you go. And then decide where you'd like to look. And gently bring it back. I'm going to stand to the side of you this time. Hands on your thighs. Lean forward. Pull your tummy in and then round through the spine, let your head drop down. Curl it the other way, slight arch, and do that again, round through, tucking your bottom under, open it up, round again, and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, that's lovely. I'll stay sideways on. Take one leg back, press your heel into the ground. Your front leg is bent and your body is leaning forward. Your tummy's in nice and tight, hands in front, round your shoulders and hold it there. When you're ready, do exactly the same thing on the other side. Get your feet right first, heel down, everything facing forward, and hold that stretch. And relax. Bring your knees together, go into a squat position, kick one leg away, then raise your tailbone back and up behind you. Tummy in, hands on the middle of your thighs, and give yourselves a nice hamstring stretch. So you should be able to feel it here on the top of the back of the leg. And relax. Do the same thing on the other side. Knees bent, extend the leg, tilt the hips, hold it there. You don't need to be taking your head down. You need to be pushing your butt back. Lovely. Taking a leg back again, only this time the toe is down and the heel is raised. So you're going into a lunge. So both knees are bent this time. And then the hip, you tuck it under, you lean back and you feel that stretch in your hip flexors, the front of the hip. Knees back, come up, chain sides. So check that your heel is raised, that it's not flat into the floor. That will allow you to really bend both knees, which is what you want to do. Tilt your hip, abs in, lean back slightly, hold it there. Bring yourself back in line, come up, out of the, out of the stretch. Good stuff. Legs wide, chin lifted. One hand up, breathe in, and blow it out. And the other side, take it in, and release it down. Do that again three more times, in your own time. Fill your lungs, and relax down. And again, breathe in. Ease it out. Very last time, off it goes.
and relax. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. I certainly did. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care. Have a good day.